What is up, wrestling figure family? It is WFE Wrestling Figure Entertainment here with a new video for you guys. Today I'm going to be going over some must-haves for me that were revealed at Comic-Con at home this year and then other figures that I like. So I decided not to do all of them because there's just so many that were revealed and it would just be a long video and yeah, that's that. So let's get into it. So, for must-haves, I'm going to start with uh, the one that I'm getting before any of them. Well, probably not, but the one that I'm going to save money for. And always going to try to have money for it, as long as I don't have it. Which is the Elite 79 Collector's Edition Undertaker. I think this figure is just awesome. I think the head scan perfectly represents him for the time that they were trying to replicate. Which is 2019 extreme rules and then he and he even had that weird almost cut out shirt that he was wearing on his uh chest and uh comes with interchangeable hands and it comes with um a hat and a new coat it's not cloth unfortunately but i'm fine with it because they wouldn't have been able to capture all those small details on it this is that bumpy uh, detailed jacket that he's been wearing since like WrestleMania 33 and I've been wanting this jacket for so long and I'm finally getting it and I am absolutely stoked for this figure. Next is the um, Elite Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt. The Ringside Collectibles exclusive. Um, we've only gotten prototype images which um, it didn't come with the right pants and it had a weird torso, but it's just a prototype image, so I, I, I'm okay with it. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um, next will be the Ultimate Edition, The Fiend Bray Wyatt, and I'm very excited for this figure as well as uh, the first two. This figure's going to be really cool. It's going to come with an interchangeable head sculpt. Uh, it's going to come with his Universal Championship. I'm guessing it'll, it might come with, uh... Oh, no, 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 It... I'm not guessing. I know that it comes with his jacket and interchangeable arms. Because that's how they do it with the Ultimate Editions and the ring entrance gear and whatever. So, probably going to come with interchangeable hands, but I'm not sure. Um, next will be the Ultimate Edition Edge. It's going to be his 2020 Royal Rumble return gear, and I'm very excited for this figure as well. I was not expecting to get this new Edge as an Ultimate Edition. I was expecting to, to just get an Elite or something, but this is something that I'm going to get. Next will be, I think, the Elite 80 Goldberg, I think. I think it's his WrestleMania 36 attire. As we all know, that wasn't a great match because Roman Reigns pulled out of the match at the last second due to his, uh, you know, his leukemia thing. So he was um, more susceptible to COVID-19. So he pulled out at the last second. So they had to replace him with whoever, which they eventually replaced him with Braun Strowman. So they didn't, and they didn't have much time to th make a good match. So they just had Goldberg do several spears and then Strowman do several power slams. <sighs> Just, I don't think Goldberg has anything left to accomplish. He's already accomplished a legendary career, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about figures. Next will be the AEW Unrivaled Orange Cassidy. I think that this dude is really cool. I don't watch AEW really, but what I have seen, I really like this guy, and I really want to get this figure. Next is the Elite Kevin Owens. I don't remember what series, either like 79 or 80. Um, and people were complaining about the head sculpt, and personally, I think it looks absolutely amazing. Now, I did get what they were saying after the basic version of the head sculpt was released like after they released images of the basic Kevin Owens with um, pretty much the same head sculpt but without true FX technology I did see what they were saying it was a little bit off but I'm still fine with it next will be the elite er, 
Elite Legend Series 8, Eddie Guerrero. I really want this figure. I think it looks cool. And obviously, you know, it's Eddie Guerrero, so I got to get it. Next will be this Survivor Series, uh, I think Series 3 Elite, Drew McIntyre. As some of you should know, that um, Drew McIntyre only had like one or two figures of his updated attire, like now where he's completely jacked and looks like a completely different person from a couple years ago. Um, there's only like one or two, and they go for crazy money, so Mattel, you know, they made a new one. So I'm probably going to get that. And last for the must-haves is John Morrison, the uh, newer attire. I know that uh, in Survivor Series Elite 3, he's going to have one, which is going to be his older attire, but I want his newer one. So, yeah, I'm going to get that. So next are just figures I like, and are I'm probably going to get most of them sometime down the line. I'm not sure but it's just a possibility first we have the elite 78 our truth I really like our truth I think he's just he's very underrated and he's WWE's hidden gem um he comes with the 24-7 championship so I gotta get that and next will be the elite 79 I think I get or yeah, Elite 79, Matt Riddle. I'm not... I don't know him that well, but from what I've seen, he looks like a pretty cool dude, and I want him. And next is the New Day. I think that the all these figures look awesome. These are the best New Day figures that we have gotten to date. And I want to get all of them. My one thing, it's like, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I think that Xavier Woods is... Other head sculpt, like the interchangeable one, looks like Snoop Dogg. Like, look at this. It looks like Snoop Dogg. Anyways, next will be the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan, or Hollywood Hulk Hogan, from when he was in the NWO. Um, I don't know why. I, I, I know that everyone, like, is probably, is, like, kind of, like, wanting this figure really bad, but I don't know. I just... I'm not too big on it. I mean, yeah, it's cool that it comes with butterfly shoulders. First time Mattel has that, but I just don't want it that bad. But it is a cool figure, and I would like to add it to my collection. Next will be the Elite Mr. T and Rowdy Roddy Piper Battle Pack. Um, I would only want to get it for the Mr. T because I didn't get a chance to get the uh, SDCC exclusive. Which I wish I could have because I like that figure more than this one. But I'm definitely thinking about getting this one. Next will be the uh, Elite China. We all know that her first figure was released in the Elite Triple H Battle Pack. Smart of Mattel to release um, a figure that everybody wants so bad with another one. So they can make more money off of it. And they know that people are going to buy it like crazy. So, yeah, that, that that made them money. I didn't get that either. So, I'm going to be getting this one probably. Next is Keith Lee. I haven't seen much of Keith Lee's work. But he does seem like a really cool dude. And I like him. He's made a good first impression on me. And it looks like we're going to be getting a new um, torso mold for, for him. Which is pretty cool. Next is Rob Gronkowski. He was the host for WrestleMania 36. Um, it, it's not something I'd ju just pick up, but it, it's pretty cool that they made a figure of him, I think. I'd use it for, I don't know, an, an announcer or um, a manager or so something. I wouldn't really use him as a superstar, but... It'd be used somehow. And last is the basic um, 111 Eric Rowan. Now, I do think that it's pretty cool that they released an, um, a version of his updated attire, like his 2019-2020 attire. Um, I, would, I was about to say solo attire, but 
He had the same attire as the Wyatt family attire when he was solo for a while. So, yeah. I don't think they did a great job on, like, replicating that his attire. Most of the jeans that he wore had all sorts of buttons and rips and everything all over. And they didn't even um, try to paint it or nothing. It's just solid brown pants. It, it, they look similar to the basic 71 Undertaker pants just without the uh, the um, buttons on the sides they're probably not the same but just they look similar and then um, the shirt doesn't have a design on it it's just a plain black shirt when most shirts he wore had like heavy metal band designs on it or just random designs I'm not sure but it's just a figure that I'm th I'm thinking about buying. But it's just a figure that I am thinking about buying, and yeah, that that's about it. I think that's every figure that I wanted to cover in this video. So thank you for watching. Make sure to slap the subscribe button and the like button, and I will see all of you in the next video.